Mesdames et Messieurs, merci d'accueillir M. Tsai Chi, le président du comité d'organisation des Jeux Olympiques et Paralympiques d'hiver de Beijing 2022, et le président du comité international olympique, M. Thomas Barr, champion olympique d'escrime en 1976. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of the Beijing Organizing Committee for the 2022 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games, Mr. Tai Chi, and the president of the International Olympic Committee, Mr. Thomas Bach, Olympic champion, fencing, 1976. 国际奥林匹克委员会主席，一九七六年奥运会击剑冠军托马斯·巴赫先生。Your Excellency, President Xi Jinping and Madame Peng Liyuan. Your Excellency, President Thomas Bach. Dear athletes, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends. As we're celebrating the Chinese Year of the Tiger, we are pleased that you the Olympic athletes, coaches and distinguished guests from across the world have come together in Beijing for the celebration of the 2022 Olympic Winter Games. The encounter between the Chinese traditional Spring Festival and the modern Olympic movement is expected to build a bridge between cultures, bringing you an enriched experience. Here, on behalf of the Beijing Organizing Committee for the 2022 Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games, I wish to extend our warmest welcome to you. Fourteen years ago, we lit the cauldron of the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games right here at this stadium, fulfilling a century-old dream of hosting an Olympic Games. Seven years ago, we promised the world a joyous rendezvous on pure ice and snow, setting out on a new Olympic journey. Today, we witness here how Beijing becomes the first city ever to host both the summer and winter editions of the Olympic Games, and how China writes a new chapter in the history of the Olympic movement. As the old Chinese saying goes, honoring a promise carries the weight of gold. With the full support of President Xi Jinping and under the strong leadership of the Chinese government, we have remained committed to a green, inclusive, open and clean approach to preparing and hosting the Games. We have worked closely with the IOC and other stakeholders, risen to the challenge of COVID-19 while pressing ahead with the Games preparations. Tonight, the Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022 is opening a schedule and a long-cherished dream is becoming a reality. I hope all of you will make more friends in Beijing Exceed yourselves in competition and show true sportsmanship at this joyous rendezvous on ice and snow. This is a victory of solidarity, of fulfilled dreams, and of the Olympic spirit. Dear friends, as we continue to live under the impact of COVID-19, the safety and health of all Games participants remains our top priority. Let us stand together in solidarity, mutual understanding and mutual support to deliver a simple, safe 
and splendid games. Dear friends, the Olympic movement is not just about going faster, aiming higher and becoming stronger. It's also about standing together, about bridging differences and about promoting inclusiveness and understanding. The Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022 is to show the world how people boldly rise to challenges and forge ahead into the future. Let us work together to add a new chapter to building a community with a shared future for mankind. Now I have the honor of inviting International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach to speak. Chers athlètes olympiques, Votre Excellence Xi Jinping, Président de la République Populaire de Chine, Vos Excellences Antonio Guterres, Secrétaire Général des Nations Unies, et Abdullah Shahid, Président de l'Assemblée Générale des Nations Unies, Monsieur le Président du Comité d'Organisation his Excellency Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China. Chers amis, Excellencies, Antonio Guterres, Welcome Secretary General of the Union. To the Olympic Winter Games, Beijing 2022. <laughs> to all our Chinese friends, a very happy new year. Xinchuan Kuai Le. Onyen Dachi. This year of the Tiger is also an Olympic year. Both the year of the Tiger and the Olympic year stand for ambition, courage, and strength. Today, thanks to this ambition, China is a winter sport country. Well over 300 million people are engaged in winter sports in about 2,000 ski resorts and ice rinks. This extraordinary achievement opens a new era for global winter sport. It will raise the global participation to new levels benefiting the Chinese people as well as winter sport enthusiasts around the world. We can only write this new chapter in sporting history because of our gracious hosts, the Chinese people, whom we thank wholeheartedly for welcoming us all so warmly. Chungguo Pangyo. A special thanks goes to all the volunteers. You make us feel at home from the very first moment we arrived. Your smiling eyes are warming our hearts. Thank you, volunteers. Unfortunately, the global pandemic is still a reality for all of us. Therefore, our gratitude is even deeper for the Beijing 2022 Organizing Committee, the public authorities, and all the Chinese people. 
Thank you for making these Olympic Winter Games happen and making them happen in a safe way for everyone. We all could only get here because of the countless medical workers, doctors, scientists, everybody in China and around the world who is going beyond the call of duty. Thank you for your outstanding efforts and solidarity. In the same spirit, our heart goes out to all the athletes who, because of the pandemic, cannot make their Olympic dream come true. Dear fellow Olympians, your Olympic stage is set. You have arrived here after overcoming so many challenges, living through great uncertainty. But now your moment has come, the moment you have been longing for, the moment we all have been longing for. Now your Olympic dream is coming true in magnificent venues supported by hundreds of millions of new Chinese winter sport fans. You, the Olympic athletes, you will show how the world could look like if we all respect the same rules and each other. Over the next two weeks, you will compete with each other for the highest price. At the same time, you will live peacefully together under one roof in the Olympic Village. There, there will be no discrimination for any reason whatsoever. In our fragile world, where division, conflict, and mistrust are on the rise, we show the world, yes, it is possible to be fierce rivals, while at the same time living peacefully and respectfully together. This is the mission of the Olympic Games, bringing us together in peaceful competition, always building bridges, never erecting walls, uniting humankind in all our diversity. This mission is strongly supported by the United Nations General Assembly. It adopted the Olympic Truce Resolution by consensus of all 193 UN member states. The resolution explicitly mentions you, the Olympic athletes, welcoming how you promote peace and human understanding through the Olympic ideal. In this Olympic spirit of peace, I appeal to all political authorities across the world. Observe your commitment to this Olympic truce. Give peace a chance. Dear athletes, we all are standing with you. 
We all are supporting you. We all are cheering you on. May this encourage you to go faster, to aim higher, become stronger together. In this way, you will inspire the world in this Olympic year with the same ambition, courage, and strength like the year of the Tiger. Maintenant, j'ai l'honneur d'inviter le président de la République populaire de Chine. And now I have the Son honor of Excellence inviting the President of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping, to declare open the 24th Olympic, Olympic Winter Games, Beijing 2022.